Let us find the resultant of four forces acting along OA will be OC. That's one in this figure. Magnitude of those things 3 newton, 4 newton, 5 newton, 6 newton respectively. Now for this purpose, uh, you may think of using this formula R square equal to P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos theta. However, it will make your work extremely tedious. You might be able to do it, but it is much easier if we break those forces along x component and y component, or whether we find the forces along x component and y component. So let's do it. Component of component of OA along x axis is OA is at magnitude 3 newton, so it is totally along x axis. So 3 newton into cos 0, that is 3 newton only. Component of OB, oh, OA is a vector, I'm sorry. OB is also a vector along x axis is. Now this time you have OB inclined to 30 degree with respect to x-axis. So, magnitude of OB is 4 Newton into cos 30 degree. And that's equal to 4 into 1 by 2. Sorry. Cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. 4 into root 3 by 2. Similarly, component of OC, component of OC along x-axis is, OC is a 5 Newton, so 5 Newton into cos 60 degree. Cos 60 degree is 1 by 2. Lastly, component of OD. What is the angle between OD and X axis? Let's look at it. We have 30 degree plus 30 degree. That makes it 60 degree. Again, 45 degree. So that makes it in total uh, 60 plus 45, 105 degree. OD along X axis is six Newton into cos hundred and five degree. That is equal to six six Newton into cos sixty degree plus 45 degree. That is, let's compute it, let's do some rough work. Cos 60 degree plus 45 degree. You know the formula cos A plus B equal to cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. That's equal to cos 60 degrees 1 by 2, cos 45 degrees 1 by root 2, sin 60 degrees root 3 by 2, sin 45 degrees 1 by root 2. That's equal to 1 minus root 3 divided by 2 root 2. Therefore, component of OD of OD along X axis is 
we have 90 degree of OD equal to 6 newtons, 6 into cos 60 minus 45, so this is equal to 6 into 1 minus root 3 divided by 2 root 2. Notice that root 3 is greater than 1. So 1 minus root 3 is negative, so component of OD along x-axis is along is from negative direction with respect to x-axis. Similarly, let's find the component of those four forces along y-axis. 3 into sine 0, comma 4 into sine 30 degree, comma 5 into sine 60 degree. Lastly, 6 into sine uh, 60 plus 45 degree. That is sine 0 is 0, sine 30 degree is 1 by 2. So that gives you 2. Sine 60 degrees root 3 by 2. So 5 root 3 upon 2. Once again, sine 60 degrees root 3 by 2. So this is equal to 5 into root 3 by 2. Lastly, sine 60 degree. Let's compute it. Sine 60 degree plus 45 degree, what is that? Sine 60 degree plus 45 degree equal to sine A, sine A plus B is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Sine 60 degree is root 3 by 2. Cos 45 degree is 1 by root 2. Cos 60 degree is 1 by 2. Sine 45 degree is 1 by root 2. So that's equal to root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. Therefore, component along y axis are half 0, 2, 5 root 3 by 2, 6 into root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2 divided by 2 root 2. Alright. Okay. Therefore, now let's compute some of the component. Let x equal to sum of x component. So, what are the x component that we have computed? Uh, first one is First one is 4 into root 3 by 2, that is 2 root 3, Two root 3, plus second one is, oh sorry, first one is just, first one is just uh, along OE, that is 3 newton, right, 3 newton, First one is 3 newton. Second one is 4 into root 3 by 2. That is 2 root 3. Third one is 5 by 2. And fourth one is 1 minus root 3 divided by 2 root 2. Once again, first one is... First one is 3 newton. Second one is 2 root 3. Third one is... Third one is, first one is 3 newton, second one is 2 root 3, third one is 5 by 2, 
third one is 5 by 2 and lastly 1 minus root 3 by 2 root 2 1 minus root 3 divided by 2 root 2 into 6 into 6 let's simplify a little bit how much can we do this two we can combine it 3 into 2 is 6 6 plus 5 is 11 11 by 2 plus 2 root 3 plus uh, I think I should write minus here minus root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 into 6 and similarly, y equal to sum of y components. First one is zero. Second one is second one is two. Third one is five root three. And the fourth one is six into root three plus one by two root two. Six into root three plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. Lastly, resultant equal to root over x square plus y square. You may simplify it and you are done. What about the angle? Angle of resultant with respect to x axis, that is equal to 10 inverse y by x.